a warm welcome to one and all to the second part of the lesson describing words. In the first part, we have learned that describing words are the words that tell us more about the naming words or nouns. Describing words are also called adjectives. We saw many pictures and we did some exercises to have a clear understanding of the concept describing words. Today, we are going to do some more exercises based on describing words. So let's begin. The first picture you see on the screen is that of a cake. Yes children, you are right. The naming word, the noun for the picture is cake. Let us talk more about this cake by using describing words. Just look at the cake carefully and think of some words that come into your mind when you see this cake. The first word that comes into our mind is sweet. Yes, the cake is sweet. Sweet describes the taste of the cake. Can you tell me the color of the cake? Yes, the cake is brown. The cake is brown in color. Can you tell me the feel of the cake? Yes, it's fluffy. The cake is fluffy. Can you tell something more about the taste of the cake? Yes, the describing word is creamy. You can also use many more describing words for the given picture of cake. You can say it's delicious, you can say it's chocolatey, you can say it's spongy and much much more. Many describing words can be used for nouns. We have another picture on the screen. Can you tell me what do you see in the picture? Yes. On the left part, we can see a watermelon. And on the right hand side, we can see some slices of watermelon. First, let us describe the watermelon here on the left hand side. What describing words come to your mind when you look at the watermelon? Let us write them down one by one. Yes, the watermelon is oval. What is the shape of the watermelon? The watermelon is oval. Is the watermelon healthy? Yes. The watermelon is healthy fruit. So we can write here healthy. Just look at the color. What is the color of the watermelon? Yes, it's green. It's pale green. Do you notice the stripes on the watermelon? When you look at the watermelon, you can see some stripes on it. We can say that the watermelon is striped. The watermelon is striped. So children, oval, healthy, green, striped are the describing words we have used for the noun watermelon. They tell us more about the watermelon you see in the picture. Now let us go to right hand side and we see some slices of watermelon. What is the taste of the watermelon? Yes, it's sweet. Is it ripe? Yes, it's ripe. Is it juicy? Yes. The watermelon is juicy. So children, you can see here, when I looked at the watermelon here, I have got another set of describing words. 
but when the same watermelon is cut into slices we get another set of describing words. So, these are the describing words we have studied for watermelon on the left hand side and for the slices of watermelon on the right hand side. After going through all these pictures and so many examples, we have understood that describing words are magical words. They tell us so much about the naming words or nouns. Describing words are the words that tell us more about the nouns, about the shape, size, smell, color, number, sound, the feel, the look and much much more about the naming words. Let us do some more exercises on describing words. Now on the left hand side we have some words that includes naming word as well as describing words. On the right hand side we can see some pictures. Now we will read out the words very carefully. We will look at the pictures to which the describing words really match and then we will draw a line to match them. Let us read out the first set of words. A fat boy. Can you tell me which picture suits best these words? Yes, a fat boy. A fat boy. Let us read the second set of words. A huge truck. What picture best suits these words? Yes, a huge truck. Yes. Next, we have hot tea. Can you tell me which picture shows you hot tea? Yes, the last picture. Let us draw a line to match. The last set of words is grey elephant. Where is the grey elephant in the picture? Yes. Now we are going to circle the correct describing words for the nouns given in capital letters. On the left hand side you can see the nouns in capital letters and on the right hand side you can see two set of words. So the correct describing word for the noun and is tiny. So let us circle the describing word tiny for the ant. Next we have the noun shoes. Which describing word fits the noun shoes? Is it new or brave? Yes, new shoes. New shoes. The third one, man. Which describing word is the correct one for the noun man? Is it long or tall? Yes, it's tall. Let us do some more of it. Let us see some more examples. What describing word can be used for the noun umbrella? Is it juicy or wet? Yes, wet is the correct describing word. Next we have the noun egg. What describing word can be used for the noun egg? Is it oval? Or round? Yes, oval is the correct describing word for the noun egg. Next we have the noun dog. Can we use faithful or sour to describe the noun dog? Yes, faithful is the correct describing word for the noun dog. Last we have the noun book. Can you say the book is sad? Or can you say the book is thick? You are right children. Thick is the correct describing word for the noun book. So let us circle the describing word thick. So we have few sentences coming up. Let us read them very carefully. Let us understand them. And then we have to underline the describing words coming in these sentences. So let us begin with the first one. Amit 
has curly hair. Amit has curly hair. Here, hair and Amit are the nouns. So, curly describes the noun hair. Curly is the describing word in the first sentence. So, let us underline the describing word curly. We have a naming word and a describing word. But first, let us read the sentence very carefully. It is a dirty shirt. Children, in this sentence, shirt is the noun. And can you tell me what word describes the shirt in this line? Yes, it's dirty. Dirty is the describing word for the noun shirt. So, let's underline the describing word dirty. Let's move to the next sentence. The baby sleeps on a warm bed. Here, let us find out what is the describing word and then we can underline the describing word. Here, we have two nouns, baby and pet. Baby is no, not having any describing word here, but bed, the noun bed has a describing word here, warm. Warm tells us about the bed. So, warm here is a describing word for the noun bed. So, let us underline the describing word warm. Now, let us read out the next sentence. I have two yellow balloons. Children, in this sentence, we have the noun balloons. And we also have some describing words that say more about these balloons. Can you find out those describing words? Yes, they are two and yellow. The words two and yellow tell us more about the noun balloons. So, let us underline these describing words. Two and yellow. Here we have two describing words for the noun balloons. The next sentence. The mouse has small eyes and a long tail. Here we have three nouns. Mouse, eyes, and tail. We have two describing words in this sentence. The first describing word is small and that word talks more about the eyes. Then we have the describing word long that tells us more about the tail of the mouse. So yes, let us underline these two describing words small and long. Here small talks more about the eyes of the mouse and the word long tells us more about the tail of the mouse. Let's go to the next sentence. The funny clown has a red nose. Children here in this sentence we have two nouns. Clown and nose. We also have two describing words in this sentence. We have a describing word funny that talks more about the noun clown and we have a describing word red that speaks more about the noun nose. So let us underline these two describing words in this sentence. Funny that describes the clown and red that says that says more about the nose of the clown. The last sentence. My father is tall and strong. Here in this sentence we have only one noun and that is father but we have two describing words for the noun father and that is tall and strong. The words tall and strong tell us more about the noun father. So let us underline these describing words. With this, we have come to an end of today's class, which was taken in two parts. So let us recall quickly what we have studied in this class. We have studied about describing words. Describing words are the words that tell us more about the nouns or naming words. 
describing words are also called adjectives. With this we come to an end of today's class. God bless you all. Thank you.